Today we are in the beautiful city of Kyoto in Japan. We are here for the perfect time for the cherry blossom trees. We were in Osaka where we went and saw some cherry blossoms, but we've decided here in Kyoto we wanted to dedicate a whole day to going and seeing the cherry blossoms as we go around the city looking at some of the most famous sites. Our first stop today is the Fushima Inari Shrine, which is one of the most popular shrines here in Kyoto. And there's supposed to be two different kinds of cherry blossoms here, so let's go see if we can find them. cherry blossom of the day other than the like dozens that we saw just on our short little walk. They're everywhere here. We are now here at the shrine where there are over 10,000 of these gates. They were originally built in 711 AD but were destroyed by a fire and were rebuilt in the 16th century by a samurai. And just like all the history of the samurais and the ninjas here in Japan is just so fascinating to me. So we did see the two different types of cherry blossom. One was a little bit more pink and one was a little bit more white. But honestly this isn't maybe the best place to go see the cherry blossom but we do have some really good places coming up later today. So each ticket to get down to the next stop is 210 yen which is about $1.75. The trains and the metro here in Japan are phenomenal. A very easy and affordable way to like get all around all the cities here. So we now made it to Maruyama Park. This is a very popular park here and for good reason, it's absolutely beautiful. There's cherry blossom trees everywhere and it is so peaceful. There's a little river, there's little bridges. It's a really cute spot. We're just making a quick stop here this morning and then later tonight, we're actually gonna come back because at night, all the cherry blossoms are kind of illuminated. There's all kinds of street food and it's just kind of like a giant party out here. Sakura is the Japanese word for the season of the cherry blossoms. Hanami means flower watching, literally. They have a word to describe the act of walking around and watching all the cherry blossoms bloom and flourish. You can only see them for about two weeks out of the year, so we are very lucky that it worked out that they are blooming while we are here in Japan. We are now here at Kiji Incline on the old railroad tracks. It is crazy just how many people are here. This isn't even like the most popular walk. That's the Philosopher's Path where we're actually headed to next. We're headed to a temple, which is the start of the Philosopher's Path. But first we're just gonna walk down these railroad tracks enjoying these cherry blossoms. We are now at the Nanzanji Temple, which is like famous for all of its beautiful gardens and it's like very traditional Japanese architecture. And this is also considered the start of the Philosopher's Path. And the Philosopher's Path is just a path between two different temples that was said to be used by different philosophers for their morning walks. As we were walking in, we actually saw a little ice cream shop. So of course we had to grab some cherry blossom ice cream for our walk on the Philosopher's Path. It is so delicious. It has a strong cherry flavor. There are over 600 different varieties of cherry trees in Japan, most of which don't actually grow cherries on them, but they are still so beautiful to look at. So many different kinds. Some are a little more white, some are more pink, some are kind of in between, but this cherry blossom ice cream, 10 out of 10. We are currently walking along the philosopher's path along the river. The petals are falling and they're floating down the river. So next we'll be going to the Koyota Imperial Palace to see some more. So many beautiful stops. So with all of this walking and hanami, we have gotten very hungry. So we're gonna go get some ramen noodles for lunch. So this sign says this restaurant is closed on March 30th today. The one and only day I've ever wanted to go to this restaurant, it's closed. Time to go find somewhere else to eat. We are currently sitting outside of a little ramen place. I feel like that's how you know it's good when there's a line all the way out the door. So we just got our ramen, which looks and smells amazing. We got the lightly salted broth. It looks like there's ham in it, which is the takatsu type 
of ramen noodles. We had to wait a long time to get a seat here. This is the perfect way to refuel for lunch before we go hit up a few more cherry blossom locations this afternoon. So we just got to our next cherry blossom location after lunch, and it is the Takanaka Inari Jinja Shrine, which has the iconic red gates leading up to the shrine. But this one has cherry blossoms surrounding it, so you get that iconic Japanese symbol along with the beautiful cherry blossoms. So the combo makes for a beautiful spot, and it looks like it's not too busy, unlike the other places today. On our walk up here, we went by the second house bakery which is just full of cakes and tons of delicious looking treats and we picked out two desserts I've been wanting to try Japanese cheesecake since we got here Jordan chose a chocolate cake and they look so stinking delicious I'm really excited so they literally packed our cheesecake and chocolate cake with an ice pack to keep it cold that's amazing mm. That is delicious. It's so fluffy and light on like a dense cheesecake that it almost tastes like a meringue. So good. So we are now at the Kyoto Imperial Palace. So Kyoto is actually the capital of Japan before it was relocated to Japan. And that is one of the many reasons why there's just so much architecture, so much history here in Kyoto. The cherry blossoms here at the Imperial Palace are not quite as great as some of the other places like the QG Incline. However, that does mean that this entire complex is super quiet. It's very peaceful. The Kyoto Imperial Palace complex is honestly just ginormous, filled with all kinds of trees. We saw a lot of people doing picnics and we saw people like playing badminton. And like I said, it is really quiet here, which is is a nice change than everywhere else. This time of year is definitely very busy and when we we're in Osaka we actually went to the Osaka castle and that place too was just absolutely filled with people so it's kind of nice to find like more of a quiet spot to kind of check things out. There are still a few cherry blossom trees here however like I said more of just like all the rest of the beautiful gardens here but after all this walking we've walked nearly 10 miles today we are absolutely tired so we're gonna head over to a coffee shop to spend the rest of the afternoon until we can head back to the park so that we can see the illuminated cherry blossoms. I feel like every time we say we're about to leave a place we spend approximately 15 more minutes taking about a thousand more pictures. We probably have several thousand pictures of all these cherry blossoms from today alone. Every time I think I'm done taking pictures, I see a different angle, a different view, a different tree. Everything here is aesthetic. Everything's beautiful, clean, nature mixed with city. Chef's kiss. We love Kyoto. Uh. Such a good day. All right, for Running real. Into a tree. For real, time to go grab some coffee because we are dead tired. We're so exhausted. Rama Park where the Cherry Blossom Festival is taking place. The cherry blossoms are illuminated with lanterns and it is so beautiful. There is all kinds of street vendors here, all kinds of street food. It all smells so delicious. We're gonna go try and find some. Pancake plates. They're very into their like pancake esque foods here. 
So we actually managed to find quite a bit of street food here tonight. We're gonna finish off with this, it's kind of like a pork noodle dish. I saw some bacon in it, so I'm a huge fan of that. We had an incredible day here in Kyoto, just checking out all the cherry blossoms. Our favorite place today was definitely Kiji Incline because the railroad tracks were just incredible and there's just a complete tunnel of cherry blossoms all around us. But tomorrow we are hopping on a bullet train to head all the way to Tokyo, which is the most populous city in the world. And we're really excited to start checking it out. So we'll see you in the next one.